Greetings, my name is Meticulix, here for a video tutorial on how to fix your missing icons in KDN Live. Now, I must admit, I've only tried this in one Linux version, but I'm fairly certain that, as you will see, this should work regardless of what operating system you currently use. So, got KDN Live opened up here, and you'll notice that most of the icons are indeed missing. So, in order to remedy that, there are a couple of things floating around, like install KD runtime, or there's a couple other things that uh, escape my memory. And one that I found that works is libqt5 libqgtk2. So you want to go to your package manager, go and search for that, and just install it. We're going to do that now. Should take no time at all. All right, just like that. Now we got that installed. You'll notice if I open up KDN Live again that we got some more icons popped up, but we are still missing a few of them. So the rest of this is more of a workaround, but it should get the job done. All right, so this involves your icon pack. What we're going to do is first find out what icon theme you're using. So go into settings, and there should be something that along the lines of themes. You're going to want to go into that. So currently our icon pack is Numix Circle. Now we're going to need that for later. While we're here, we also need to check that we have the icon pack Breeze and the icon pack Oxygen. If you do not have these two, just go into your terminal and uh, at least on Ubuntu uh, Linuxes, you can figure this out for your own. sudo apt get install and then you'll want to install Breeze icon theme and oxygen icon theme. So just go and install those if you don't have them and then we can proceed on. So now that we know that what our icon theme is, we're going to open up our files, go into the root, then we're going to go to USR, share, icons, here, we're going to find our icon pack again. So we are using Numix Circle, so we're going to just copy this. Now we're going to go into our home folder, press Ctrl and H to open up the hidden folders, find the folder dot icons. If it doesn't exist, I can't remember, you may have to create it. So go and do that. Once we're in here, we're just going to paste our folder. And then I like to rename this 2.0, this way it differentiates it from the original. I'm going to go into that, go into index theme, and then this is what we're interested in, inherits. So this currently inherits the icon theme Numix. We're going to want it to also inherit Breeze, so just put a comma and then Breeze, and Oxygen, so comma Oxygen. Once you've done that, save it, get out of that, go back, go back, hit Control and H, put the folds back to where they are, we can get out of this. Now we go back into our settings, and if we did it right, when we click on our icons, we now have Numix Circle 2.0. So select that, and you'll notice that nothing changed. However, because it is inheriting now both the Breeze and the Oxygen Pack, once we go back into KDN Live, it has filled in the missing icons with the icons from both Breeze and Oxygen. Now, your case may vary. Maybe you only need to add uh, Breeze, maybe you only need to add Oxygen. In my case, I had to add both of them. And that way, it gave me all the icons that at least were required for normal use. Now, again, I say this is more of a workaround because it is not the same icon pack. The icons may look different than the rest of them, depending on your theme, if it's very diverse. But at the very least, this will allow you to actually see there's a button there instead of just a bunch of letters and nonsense. So I hope this fixes your problem. But as I'm sure you know by now, if issues of the sort, mild dreary. Regardless, this brings me to the end of my tutorial. So until next time, goodbye.